This is Danielle Pruitt from Wild and Whole. He's going to walk through how to clean a heart, but then also a great way to prepare it. We get more questions about cooking game hearts than maybe any other part of the animal. I think the reason is because it's like people are aware that it's something that you can eat, but they look at it and they get kind of confused because like, is it a muscle? Is it like guts? Is it, you know? It's like, scary. Like, what do you do with it? Because you look at, yeah, like <laughs> here's one like cut right out of a, so this is a white-tailed deer heart cut right out of the deer. And you look at it and you're like, man, I don't really know how to approach it with tons of questions. So as you can see, this just came right out of the animal. Nothing has been trimmed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get this layer of fat and tissue off of it. The person that pulled this heart, a colleague's husband, I've never pulled one where I actually left, like the heart sits in a little bag. I've never in my life pulled a heart out. I haven't either. This is like real heart 101 information because this thing is still sitting in its little sack. We're gonna see it unwrap. It's like a little yeah, Christmas so present. This is a perfect demonstration. Yeah, this is like a medical grade demo. Yeah, right so go. that's there what you're talking about. That's it's what, no that's that's what normally comes out of a yeah. deer. <laughs> so I'm gonna just sort of trim this off. And so when I think about cleaning a heart, the first time you look at it, you're like, what's going on? What's in there? And the best way for me to understand anything is to learn the anatomy. What are you looking at? You've got four chambers, the two atriums, and then this is the right ventricle, this is the left. The left is always bigger of the two. And you'll notice when you open it up, this side is gonna be a lot thicker and the side's gonna be a lot thinner. And then running down the middle is the septum. It's a wall of meat that divides the two chambers. And then these are the pulmonary aortic arteries that you wanna cut out. I'm gonna start by cutting off the top. These atriums, they look like there's a little bit of meat connected to it, but underneath are a lot of tendons. And so I usually don't really save this piece, especially if it's a smaller animal. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna make a little incision under this fat so you can see how much you're gonna cut off. And then I'm going to just start cutting all the way across the top. And actually in parts of this, this uh, fat can actually get peeled off. So if you're not sure how deep to cut in, just start using your fingers and start to peel off. And then you'll see where the meat is and where the valves start to connect. So just keep making these cuts. So now you can see I can start to open it up and keep cutting so that all this top portion is gone because these are your arteries you don't want any of this artery stuff. Mm -hmm. So now you can open it up and look inside. So see what's going on in there. Yeah, so you can see what you're looking at. There's still some fat to be trimmed. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a fillet knife and just sort of cut all these pieces off. Yeah, I find that, that the fat on the heart is waxy and tallowy. When you eat it, it'll still kind of coat the top of your mouth with that like paraffin Right, it's kind of like tallow, like beef fat is really hard. Okay, so now we've got the bulk of the fat peeled off. You can stick your fingers inside and sort of feel what's going on. There's a lot of tendons in here. So you'll find like these little spider web tendons. But if you've ever heard, uh, you're pulling on my heartstrings, that's I think where that oh. term comes from. I had a buddy of mine one time send me a text message with a picture of a heart he cut open. And he's like, what's wrong with this heart? Uh, <laughs> because you found those yeah. little tendrils in there. Yeah, so the septum is a wall of meat that goes right down the middle. So this piece right here is the septum, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that through. So now you see you've got this little wall of meat. I'm gonna cut along this main artery, and you're gonna feel where that septum is, and you're gonna cut on the inside of that. The right ventricle is now flapped open. You can see how it connects onto the back side. And at this point, I cut right there, right where it meets the rest of it. So now you've got this perfectly little oval shaped heart. And then this is the left piece. And then you can clean it up, trim it up. I trim away all these little tendons on there. So now you've got one nice flat piece of meat. 
and we'll go to the other side. So this is where that coronary artery was, and I'm gonna open this side up by cutting down along that artery. So you keep cutting that open, and now this is what they're referring to like a book. You can start to open it all the way up. So these are more of those tendons that you're gonna cut away. This piece was a septum. I usually cut that off. So you've got one big piece here, and you've got another piece here. Once you start to pull and cut out these tendons, this meat starts to lay flat. And you'll see sort of these spider web looking things. These are natural. I don't cut any of that out. So that is one piece of meat. The bulk of these that I've ever done would be not nearly as elegant, where I just take it and go whap, 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 whap. Right. Cut it up. But this is kind of like a, you kind of wind up with nicer pieces that you can use for more things, you know? Right. I always say when it comes to wild game, one of the most important things you can do is to take your time cleaning things so that they're visually appealing. Because you eat with your eyes. Before you actually take a bite, you look at something, and if it looks really disturbing, your mind's gonna already go to a place that this is gonna Yeah, especially people that are already approaching it with some level yeah. of apprehension. Right, so now we have it into our three main pieces. Yeah, at this point, it's like gone from an innard to an ingredient. Right. Like a usable, ready to roll ingredient. A versatile piece of meat. Perfect.